okay wow they did it again studio affordable is out here making peak cinema for the people this week's episode of demon slayer was by far my favorite in this season at least can't even believe what i've just witnessed this episode specifically was heavily focused on muichiro the mist hashira which i have been waiting for so Muchiro fans strap the fuck in we basically start off by seeing Muchiro escaping from the water prison however as he escapes he gets jumped by the nightmare fuel we saw from the last episode you know the small nasty fish looking demons with legs but before they reach him Muchiro has a whole flashback like his whole life flashes before his eyes we flash back to Muchiro in his younger years we basically see him out in the forest together with his dad and apparently his father was a wood chopper and and Muichiro says that he loved helping him on his jobs. And the father, I'm not gonna lie, he was a real one. He was, he was like a kind and cool person, like, you know, just like Tanjiro almost. But anyways, one day there's a huge storm and it seems like Muichiro's mom is very, very sick. Muichiro's father decided to go outside in the storm to look for some herbs to, I don't know, heal her or something like that. I do not know what kind of herbs he was looking for. In the Demon Slayer world, we have herbs that can keep demons away and other herbs that can do all sorts of shit you'll see he basically finds the herbs on the top of a cliff but the storm is hitting heavy my g rocks that the father is standing on to reach the herbs they start to give and let me just say homie did not have his lightweight perk on because he took the full brunt from that fall damage yikes bro smoked yeah because the father didn't make it home with the herbs the mother also passed away that night so yeah Moichiro lost both his parents the same night very tragic 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 not gonna lie yo man oh my god gee i do not know how these demon slayer characters pull through like i do not know how they do it their lives are too miserable what's going on get to learn that Moichiro wasn't alone at all actually he had a twin brother the whole time his name is Yuichiro I think and he looks exactly the same as Moichiro yeah, that's crazy right yeah oh when I say you his brother was the biggest hater of the Taisho period oh my god like he starts calling their father stupid for going outside in the storm and he starts calling their mother stubborn because she continued working despite her being sick and <laughs> man how is he disrespecting his own parents on the same day they died i don't even get it i guess people cope with grief and loss in different ways i suppose Machiro is not having any of that he's like the fuck are you saying put some respect on our parents name but Yuichiro is like all right little bro do you even know what the movie Muichiro stands for? It stands for incompetence, my G. It stands for meaningless. This whole conversation is meaningless. Stop talking to me, bro. <laughs> if I had a brother talking to me like that, I would have to show him what the H in these hands stands for. Anyway, so one day Muichiro and his brother meet this woman who explains to them that they are descendants of a lineage of swordmen who used to apparently perform what's called the first breathing style, which is actually kind of insane if you think about it. But Yuichiro wants none of that, so he basically scolds her and chases her away each time she tries to approach them. One day, Muichiro actually wants to become a swordsman, and he goes up to his brother and is all like, like, yo, let's do this, let's become swordsmen. Let's go help some people and fight some demons and get our paper up, for real. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it seems like the move, bruh. But Yuichiro snaps and starts laying it on my man. And he starts saying all kinds of shit. He's like, man, you can't even cook rice and you want to go out and fight demons and do backflips and all sorts of shit, bro. Like, you can't. You're not him, bro. You're not him. He's telling him, man, because we're the kids of our parents, all we can do is just die in vain, die like dogs. So he's dissing his whole family tree at this point. But after that, they weren't really close like that. Like, I think Muichiro got enough. He was like, man, okay. He's not for the people, for real. One night, a demon pulls up to the crib and he starts slashing at Muichiro, but his brother jumps in the way and actually gets his whole arm cut off. It's pretty fucking gruesome. Muichiro basically just stun locked. He doesn't know what to do. Apparently, he just blacks out. He recalls that he felt a rage building up from the bottom of his stomach and he let out a roar. 
or the next thing he remembers is coming to his senses while he's standing over the demon while it's impaled and cut to pieces sun is rising so of course the demon dies seems like our boy Muchido went absolutely sicko mode on the demon i'm not gonna lie but as he makes his way back to the cabin he also hears his brother's last words apparently he is very very sorry for the way he has treated Muichiro and he basically prays to the gods and Buddha let his brother survive because he is the kinder of the two and he admits that it's his fault because Muichiro wanted to go out and help people he basically held him back with his negative attitude he also admits that he was literally clowning on his name earlier because the Mu in Muichiro doesn't stand for incompetence or meaningless it actually stands for infinity bro that shit hit hard i don't know how the author of demon slayer keeps doing this it's an amazing story my god but we then snap back to reality oops the ghost gravity we see muichiro awaken his demon slayer mark which is insane it appears to be clouds instead of flames it's it's dope basically just destroys the small nasty demons and then he goes after Gyoku, who is still trying to break the swordsmith's concentration fucking waste man but oh my god muichiro is powerful now that he has both awakened his demon slayer mark but also he has received his new katana that the other swordsmith was working on and he basically just makes light work out of Gyoku. and we end the episode off with muichiro landing the cleanest mist breathing attack on Gyoku. Ooh, the animation went crazy oh my god so where are all the demon slayer animation haters now huh where are you speak up speak up anyways this episode was a solid 10 out of 10 for me I really enjoyed it, no cap. Muichiro's backstory is one of the best ones from this series. Let me just say it's just one of the best, like there are still way more to come. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of hated Muichiro's character in the start, but now I've actually grown quite fond of his character after he has regained his memories and I better understand his behavior, I guess. I also hope they put as much effort into Kanrochi's uh, backstory. Yeah man, solid episode, I can't wait to see the next one. But yeah man, that has been it from me. Man, I just hope to see you people in my next video, so take care out there. Also, stay true and beautiful, and peace.